Hello and welcome to the world of Final Fantasy XIV. My name is Brian and this is Work to Game. I'm putting this guy together to hopefully teach you how to use one of these or one of these. Now whether your preference being the PlayStation controller or an Xbox controller, let's go ahead and get those set up. We've got three videos here to hopefully teach you everything you need to know to really get started using the controller. The first one being the setup and configuration guide. The second one being simple tips and tricks to how to use the controller. And the third one I'm calling targeting like a boss. You'll see the links to the other videos in the description below, but let us know in the comments what you think as well as if you have any questions about the controllers and how to use them. You can also check out our controller guides by job and let us know if you got any thoughts or there's anything that you wanna see and we'll try to do our best to help out with that. But without further ado, let's just do this thing. All right, today we're talking about targeting like a boss. There is so much that you can do to improve your targeting skills while using the controller that we just have to cover it. Obviously you can see that this enemy decided to attack me for no reason whatsoever. And one of the things that we can do, you can see here that I've got him in my enemy list listed right here. This is a good time to talk about hard targeting. You can see that the hard target has this nice little arrow and this little nice little orange or yellow box surrounding him. If I'm using left or right on the D-pad, you can see I can do a soft target. Now that soft target isn't on my enemy list, but it is designated by the circle that is surrounding it. So hard targeting and soft targeting are kind of the ways of targeting and mouse over targeting for keyboard and mouse users. If I were to actually engage this enemy on my list, you can see that I've got him now as my hard target. And if I do a soft target, you can even see in your enemy list that it's still also designated by that nice little yellow or faded line, just as the example of a mouse over effect would be. So cycling through targets, either using the up and down buttons on the D-pad or left and right to cycle through enemies or really anything that you wish to cycle through can easily be configured. So let's go ahead and focus in on the various things that we can configure. Hitting start and going into character configuration under control settings and then under filters for the target. You have target cycling, and so this is where it is important to know the difference between your weapon being drawn and your weapon being sheathed. You have the ability to set up two custom types of filters. You can see here for my custom, I've got non-party PCs, alliance members, all enemies, aggroing enemies, duty specific enemies, and NPCs and objects. I've turned off pets, minions, party members, minions, and signs. On the enemy side, which is when my weapon is drawn, I want to focus in on all enemies aggroing enemies and duty specific enemies. You can see in both my lists that party members are not selected. Now this is for a reason. Again, hitting up and down on the D-pad will allow me to cycle through my party members as well as pets. So adding in party members on the left and right would end up being redundant. It would end up making it take too much time to be able to target the target that you want. Having your weapon out and being able to focus in on what target you want just by using the D-pad is good, but you have a couple other options at your disposal. If you're more interested in tab targeting, holding down the left trigger or the right trigger will allow you to use the right bumper or correspondingly the left bumper to tab target through the enemies that are on the screen. You can lock on a target and make it your hard target, but there's another target option you have available and that is focus target. This will always have this little focus target option right here that you can easily click to select. You can easily set up macros to select those as well, but it's just another ability that you can kind of set. Typically, I like to set those with the boss fight, even if I'm focusing on a particular person in my party as a healer or as a DPS for any reason. Now, we've covered this before, but just pressing A is going to default you to the nearest enemy. This also works for NPCs, and that's based off the field of view. So even if I'm real close to this guy, A is going to target this one over there. Let's go ahead and pick on a few here. So outside of holding left and tar tab targeting through your enemy list, you also have the ability to hold L1 and press up and down to cycle through your target list right here for your enemies. So that's holding L1 and pressing up and down. This can be very useful for tanks. This can be very useful for anybody who needs to focus in on a specific enemy that is currently engaged. With the new changes to the list, you can actually see what abilities the enemies are casting. So if for some reason you know that an ability can be stunned, well, it's done it. <laughs> it's just that simple. So back in the filters list, I recommend that you highly play around with these two options. These are going to give you a lot of flexibility to really kind of set exactly what you want. Now, a couple of other options that I can't really show off here 
is that holding down L1 and pressing left and right will allow you to cycle through alliance members. So if you're in a 24 man raid and you really just want to focus in on your alliance, you have a filter that will allow you to do so, which is really important and something good to know. But if you need an extra level of customization, I'd recommend enabling filter customization. This allows you to build out four independent filters that you can set at any point in time by holding down the left bumper or L1 and pressing the corresponding face button on the gamepad. So here you can see that pressing L bumper and Y will enable the R filter. Pressing L bumper and B will enable just enemies. L bumper and A will just enable party members and pressing L bumper and X will enable just friends. You can also use pre-built filters to easily set something that you want or just check the boxes to make your own custom filter. So just doing this, you can see I'm an A, enemies, all, friends, custom. Navigating the UI can be somewhat tricky in this game, unless you're on like a PlayStation 4 controller. PlayStation 4 is going to have the touchpad, it's going to have that kind of somewhat virtualized mouse that's going to allow you to navigate. But otherwise, and even on the PlayStation, you can press this button down as the select button. So pressing the select button will allow you to cycle through the various UI elements on the screen. And you can see the little hand arrow as it moves around. So if I wanted to focus in on a particular, let's say quest, I can press select until I get into the duty list and click on the blue with the nice blue and it's gonna bring up the map. From here, if I want to teleport to this little aetherite, I can actually press the little right bumper. And it's gonna ask me if I wanna go ahead and just teleport there. So instead of having to pull up another menu, instead of having to do anything else, you can pretty much do everything from the gamepad itself. Last but not least, I wanna point out the virtual mouse. This is a tool that you can use whenever you need to, especially if you don't have a keyboard or mouse hooked up to your PlayStation 4. Pressing down on the left bumper and pressing down on the right stick as a click button will enable the virtual mouse. This now makes the left trigger and the right trigger act as a click. So you can click and hold and drag anything that you wish. So you can see that I right clicked for remove and press B. But if I want to hold and click, I can now hold down the trigger and it's got the virtual mouse functionality. So, and to get out of virtual mouse mode, it's the same. Left bumper and pressing down on the right stick to turn off virtual mouse mode. Now, before I depart ways, one last little simple trick that I forgot to cover in a previous video. We talked about first person and third person view. But if you ever want to control your camera and the depth, you can hold left bumper and press down on the right stick to zoom out. Or press forward on the right stick to zoom in. This has been Brian for Work the Game. Thanks so much for watching our targeting like a boss video using the gamepad and controller. Please let me know if you have any questions in the comments below, and I'll be happy to address those as best as I can. I hope you enjoy your time in Final Fantasy XIV. Thanks so much for watching this video, and we hope to see you on our next. But until then, take care. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you want to check out any other videos, <laughs> you should click over here. <laughs> And then we've got uh, like some kind of vlog thing down here in the corner. <laughs> and then we've got like <laughs> subscribe. Have you get yeah, like that's really you should totally do it. This was a complete <laughs> disaster. <laughs>